Okay. Oh! It's another Light Plays Creeper. Oh. It's one of these suckers. Wait, hold up. They don't have anti-creep. Okay, so last time I went all in on Worm. Holy shit, this is a small map. Wait, there's that cauldron. I don't know what boosting this thing's going to do, but I have to know. Okay, 10 in 10 minutes. Oh, they rebuild. This is one of the maps where they actually do rebuild. That is good to know. Okay, so we're going to have to... We are going to have to boost my main base. Gosh, that is a nice mess they've got going on there. They do actually have a bathtub as well, I am noticing. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to get a spore launcher here. But the air sac, though, that's interesting. I think I'm going to work on this until it has uh, maybe like a hundred and something. Uh, just to give it some, some basic uh, staying power. And clearing power, because we don't we don't really want any of this to spread. I do appreciate that they rebuild on this one. That's a nice change of pace. But y'all have to see Oh wait, they have a sweeper? Oh no. Oh they do. Though, the sweeper seems to be entirely limited based on their little cauldron-y area. Well, that's fine. Okay. I'm just gonna boost that one. Get a second emitter. We just want to make sure that they're not going to be able to rebuild around this air sac cauldron. Because I think it's going, I think it's going to be the crux of my defense, or it's going to be completely useless, and we'll find out really quickly. <laughs> oh wow, we already took out that entire airfield. Sick. So what do my rocks do? Uh, rocks fall, structures die. It's pretty good, but I'm going to hold them into in um in reserve, because on this map they actually rebuild, and so it's not quite as useful for me to spam. Oh, we do have a spore launcher. Because that is the other option. We could go hella egg. I might want to try going hella egg. Because I don't know if this actually... Oh, it fires really quickly, too. I, I really appreciate how quick this map seems to be. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this before the air sac goes off, but part of the reason why I'm... I'm not sticking with it is, in retrospect, there's a very real possibility the air sac cauldron is only going to fire off once before we're done. And that, that'd be a little unfortunate. Okay. I just want to hit this, see if I can stun it. Unfortunately, having a little bit of trouble getting in there. It's fine. 
And yeah, I think we're just going to go hella egg. At least in the meantime, cripes. Cracking this is hard. And yeah, let's just get rid of the... Eh, no, let's keep their anti-creep. It's easy enough to see through. I might want to save up a couple of eggs. And one of my questions is whether or not I can actually overload their missile launchers. Because I don't know how much red on they're getting and how much they're able to stack. Now it looks like they've got plenty, so I doubt they'll be out of ammo. That nullifier does not want to go down. <sighs> oh, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to keep boosting this. I don't know if it actually speeds up how fast it shoots, but that shoots really fast. <laughs> the animation for the anti-creeper bombers really does just make it look like they're just peeing out of the plane. Dang, that area is tightly packed. I don't know, the air sac cauldron might go off. I think the spore launcher is kind of a dud upgrade. I think it's worth it. But since he can rebuild, it's a little tougher. I was mostly really hoping that upgrading this thing a bunch of times would mean it would just start spitting hella egg. It's not. Like, it's firing a quantity of egg. But not that much. do enough. Damn. Oh, we got the skimmer factory. Yeah, I can just prevent them from building anything up. Not easily, but it can at least uh, destroy the nullifier every time it gets built. Yeah, six every fifteen seconds. I don't think I don't think it's going to be enough. But that stun duration, I don't I don't know actually. Those those are stunned for a very long time. Okay, maybe maybe the skimmer factory. Because it almost feels like they stay semi-perpetually stunned. The only problem is the range. The snipers seem to do a very good job of... Uh, keeping them down forever. There's not much I can do about that fully. So I'll probably have to go back to upgrading my emitters if I want to make any real headway. But Skimmer Factory, not bad. It, it more or less permanently has stunned everything in its immediate zone. And once we can clear out the snipers pointed at it, I think it becomes so much more dangerous.
Let's see. So what does the skimmer do? Oh. There we go. So skimmers specifically um, will kind of fly towards enemies and then stun them. See how this entire area is glowing green? That means that they are just permanently, well, not permanently stunned, but they're stunned until they recover. Yeah, I might, I might work on the skimmer. Just give me some more. The problem is where they land is a little on the random side. But at least you can keep them locked off. Yeah, so I just have to m prevent them from building that. Let's get this up a fair bit. I don't want to go back to old wormy tricks. Now let's let's see if I can actually upgrade the skimmer factory like a bunch of times. I wonder if successive skimmers will specifically um stun them for longer, like if the stun duration stacks. Maybe. Oh, there we go. It's kind of working. Because, yeah, if... If these guys get get stunned and stay stunned, uh, they can't stop my skimmers. Seems like there's still quite a lot of snipers everywhere. But it's fine. We got skimmer, skimmer rain to just carry us forward. Keep boosting. How's this looking? Kind of good. I don't think he can get the nullifier back at this point. I don't know what those noises are. Yeah, just keep destroying that. I think I'll just be kind of patient. Keep boosting, keep boosting this. I thought this was going to be an easy map. I was wrong. Ooh. Some of them actually have uh, creep that they're carrying with them at this point. I don't, I don't know what has turned these skimmers deadly. I, I'm pretty sure it ain't egg. Oh, oh my god. What have I done? Unfortunately, I think my rain clouds have still aren't going to be that good. But yeah, you're right. I should boost this one. Because if it can boost and take out the nullifier permanently. Damn. I don't think the air sacs were quite as good as I was hoping they would be.
Okay. Boost this again. If I've been paying attention, I could have probably boosted this emitter like two or three times. And then I think we would have been in a really nice spot. Yeah, the lack of targeting ability is unfortunate. Yeah, it's kind of fine. Hey, this area is actually clearing out pretty quick. Okay, if we can take this out, this entire area becomes nothing. Okay, there goes the tower. Ah, damn it. He rebuilt. Uh, I was hoping I could do a bit more with that, but that's fine. 21 skimmers. Get them, boys. Stun them all. Yes. Okay. There goes the emitter. Uh, there goes the nullifier. I think we're good. I think we've got this hill. <laughs> Watching all the skimmers just kind of go is pretty magic. Oh, that's that's some damage right there. Oh, okay. I'm going to upgrade this like one or two more times, but then I'll probably stop. I could keep upgrading my emitters, but that's boring. Even if it is... Yeah, largely, probably the most effective strategy I've got. Let's hoard some eggs, too. Because I think I'm going to be doing some damage. Just on their own. I mean, notice how, now that my skimmers have been freed, uh, we are locking down whole swaths of this map for long periods of time. I think they actually gave me more skimmer uh, stun duration on purpose, which I think was maybe a bit of a mistake. Clearly I need more skimmers. Yeah, we've, we've stunned this entire area and there's precious little that they can do about it. <laughs> Get him, skimmer party. Whee! And yeah, they're actually even destroying things. More. Want more? Keep them stunned for good. Or do they actually not have enough green art to keep their um, sweeper down? Well, that's easy. Or I destroyed it. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to cause some like generalized havoc here. Because if I can cut that off, this entire area becomes mine permanently. I think we're already at that point. There we go. And that is why I save egg. Because, yeah, once again, if the skimmer factory has nothing pointed at it, it can just drag skimmer and do horror. Horror upon them all. We even have some worms. 
How quaint. <laughs> More skimmers. Get them, buddies. Die. Become stunned. Become non functional. Wait for death. Okay, we'll just continue continuously upgrade the skim. So what else do we have here? Those are nullifier. I got like seven eggs. Oh gosh, that is su super dense. Let's wait until I have like three or four boosts, and then I might just dump like a bunch of eggs. Um, I think I'm just gonna dump a bunch of eggs on that uh, nullifier try and kill it, and then boost the emitter to the point where they can never, never re-nullify it. And the beautiful part is the, uh, the skimmers are more or less gonna conquer the entire map and just keep it stunned. And since all of their everything is stunned, they can't rebuild, they can't fight back, and so, like, I could probably just wait and win at this point. But that's boring, so let's not do that. Okay, we're up to two boosts. I think three is enough. Was it me or did Boost have a radius? No, it only upgrades one thing at a time. I tried I tried upgrading two. Would it, would be so nice. Been away for three hours and you're still a Creeper World 4. I am this this game is uh, how would I even describe it? It's incredibly addicting. But even just beyond that, like, it's just so good. Egg. Okay, let's just cause some problems. There we go. Alright. He won't be nullifying this emitter any further. It's not gonna help him too much. Ugh. But it's free junk for me. <laughs> let's see. How's the conquest over here? Slower than I'd like. Oh, but once we get into these, I think it'll be nice and easy. Where's my tea? I might be able to AFK win while I eat. Yeah, I probably could. Where is their power coming from? It's coming from here. Ah, but they can rebuild. If I can just harm them a smidge. No, I don't think so. Wow, holy smokes, look at this though. The uh, skimmer horde is obs obscene. <laughs> just that whole front is dunzo. Do what you want. You're still getting stunned, sucker. But yeah, this is why I don't generally invest in the uh, spore launchers. The missile launchers just have too much ammo. And pretty much cannot run out. Oh, there's an M-Rift back here, too. But like, look at this. They're getting absolutely ruined. Well, when in doubt. I'm just gonna take that just to distract them. Man, this is just heinous. So, how long until the creeper front hits? Well, I don't actually have that much creeper production. 
Uh, instead, what I have is just the absurd bouncing goodness of all of my skimmers. Just doing their thing. Causing problems. I guess that's not quite as effective as I would have liked. But yeah, now that I've got these duplicators... Well, actually, we're going to be taking this entire front line. And because we stun whatever the front line is, as long as it's not terribly densely defended... Oh, there's a sweeper there, still. That exists. That... You know what? These things are egregiously expensive. Nah, I don't think we got it. Yeah, it's, that's going to be a little harder to get in there. Well, fine. Become strong! If I can just get, get this to the point where it starts spreading, we're good. But yeah, that sweeper is going to be a little bit of a problem getting in there. I think the, uh, the skimmers are going to help, but that boyo is going to be a problem. Oh. No, it's not. The green R's outside. So, my commitment to upgrading this one as my, like, major focus is correct. And if I can get rid of that M-Rift, there it goes. That slows down his income, uh, but mainly, it's really hard for him to remake those. I might actually be able to bankrupt him on Red-On. Because all I have to do is just drop an egg after, like, two pips on this thing. Oh. There came, uh, there come the raindroppy boys. Unfortunately, not quite as effective, but... I'm just gonna... I'm just going to keep dropping an egg there every once in a while. If he just can't rebuild that M-Rift, he's... He's not sunk, but he's in trouble. What's that here? Ah, uh, that's his other M-Rift. I don't think it matters too much. This area is... Oh, did it get- it got stunned. Yes. Where is this M-Rift? It's there. I just don't have enough egg. To destroy both. How's he doing? Nope, he has functionally infinite red on. I do appreciate that you can actually see his, uh... Energy production costs. I'm gonna try putting an egg there. See if we can actually... Nope. That was worth a shot. None of that, you. Those, those emrifts have absurd output. I'm noticing. I just gotta get in there. They're not quite stunned enough. 
Okay, that's looking pretty stunned. I think there it goes. Yes. No more M Rift on that side. Now he's really going to work for it. And there's only one more point of con connection here. And if I can take this out, it's done. Okay, this entire lower section is now mine. There's nothing you can do about it. Because this thing is, this thing is buffed as shit. Holy smokes. It was being held back earlier just by uh, sheer quantity. But it is no longer. Anyway, uh, time for more skimmers. 30. Alright, I think at this point we can go for the idle win. Because at this point his sweeper is no longer holding. And we stunned too much. Um, the only thing I would really be interested in doing would be trying to, like, tactically destroy his major connection points, which is a little harder. It's really densely packed. Like, I could maybe try and do some damage. But instead, I think I'm just going to hyper boost that. Can you pop the eggs by the spore launcher? Oh, yeah. No, I cannot. I do not have the functionality to pop eggs on this, this round. Holy smokes, there's still things alive here. That's impressive. Still things alive here. Got to get rid of that refiner. There it goes. All right. Now his sweeper is sunk. Let's see. Wow. We actually have quite a lot of worms. Blobs. Doing their thing. Oh, geez. Stash goes up to 20,000. That's actually pretty damn high. Anyway, more skimmer. Yeah, I think we got this. So what is the goal of this game? Well, normally it's to push back the creep, which is the blue stuff. But today... Uh, it's kind of the reverse. There we go. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill the airfield. It's fairly well defended. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to get it. Nope. There it goes. Oh, he is sunk. But we've known he is sunk this entire time. Ever since I figured out that I can just infinite skimmer to just stun everything into oblivion and then some. Now, is this it for his red on production? Yeah? Yeah. So he's totally out of red on, but he seems to still have... Oh, wait, no, no. He's got red on right there. Yeah, he was never going to run out. I bet I... I bet. It's got a rate of 15. Yeah, no kidding. He was never going to run out of ammo for his rockets. I'm a little disappointed in that. Not going to lie. Because that really just renders the spore launcher completely non-functional as a thing. Oh wow. Those snipers made sure that not even a single egg made it in. I have to flood this bathtub. There's, there's no other option. Yeah, also the air sacs. It's a shame.
But yeah, I'm not going to be able to get eggs in here. But I can get skimmers. Look at them go. Get them, buddies. Because even if their snipers can get pretty much every single skimmer, they can't get them all. There goes the shield generator. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Whatever. There we go. Let's just add a little bit more creep to this section. Skimmers are EMP frogs. Yeah. They totally look like spaceships, though, which is odd, considering the creeper. I actually think I would like them better if they were frogs. Like, I just want Froggy from Sonic Adventure. Turns out he was evil all, all along. As a kid, I never completed the, bi the big side of Sonic Adventure, because it just didn't seem like it was wor worth it. But Froggy had this, like, odd mystical quality to it. I mean, go figure, it could teleport. But I was like, as a kid, I legitimately thought, like, what secrets does he know? And was mildly obsessed with it for way too long. Anyway, have egg. We And rock. Sweet rock. We win. We win. There we go. Perfect. The queen has been pleased. I am hungry. That was a fun run, though. Uh, yeah, I actually didn't take too long. I definitely want to play a more... I want to play one of the, the uh, plays of Creeper maps where you're actually putting down the, um, the emitters and stuff and trying to be really tactical about it. Maybe? I don't know. Light play as a creeper is actually neat, though. It's probably more expes- Uh, bleh. It is probably more accessible to new people. What is TAC? Test as creeper map. Ah. Oh. Nah. And then, yeah, more Queen's Return. Rising. Yeah. I'll play some of- I'll play some of these next time. But for now, this is a lot of fun. I'm gonna go eat dinner. Thank you all so much for watching today, though. This is- this is great.